Hey, we should be live. What's happening? Yo, people, what's up? Sorry, but late was just getting the stream ready. Just a little quick one. Obviously, thought I had to drop this because Tottenham Hotspur have indeed finally signed a striker. It has only taken us, what, wait, when, when did Lorente leave? Probably about two years ago now. We've only had one striker. What? But nah, it's all good. We have finally completed the deal for Carlos Vinicius from Benfica, the Brazilian striker. We have got him on a season-long loan. We paid 3 million euros for him with an option to buy, very important, option to buy at the end for 42 million. That's right. Let's get some hashtag welcome Vinicius in the chat. Max was already kicking things off with the welcome Vinicius. What we want to see. Yeah, man, this is the first time I thought of doing this. I think I've been busy. Has been working. I'm about to go to the gym, but obviously Spurs broke the news way earlier than I thought we would. I knew he was having his medical today, um, but I was not expecting him to announce it until tomorrow. But he will be wearing the number 45. That's what he'll be wearing for Spurs. It's all been confirmed. Um, so yeah, welcome everyone to the chat. This is something a bit new for me. Let me just adjust this slightly. This is something a bit new for me. I thought I'd give it a go. Try and do a little live stream on the transfer news at Spurs. Try and get everyone's thoughts, everyone's instant reactions of our brand new signing. All right. And for anyone that's interested, Vinicius is the highest scoring Brazilian footballer in Europe last season. Scoring, um, what was it? I believe he scored 18 goals in Liga Nos, being the top goal scorer. Uh, but he scored 24 across all competitions. And he got eight assists in the league and 13 assists across all competitions. So my guy scoring ahead of Richarlison, Firmino, scored more than Neymar last year. My guy, this is a top signing considering that we've only paid three million to secure him for the year with an option of about 40 million euros to sign him next season, which is which is crazy because uh, let's be honest, if he bangs it this year, 40 million is almost a steal in today's market. If he doesn't, there is quite literally no risk whatsoever. If he's not great, we've only spent 3 million on getting a backup striker and he'll just go back to Benfica this next season. It's actually a very, very class deal by Spurs. Um, yes, the one we have just got is Carlos Vinicius. Everyone thinking uh, the, the the Real Madrid one is Vinicius Jr. That's not the one we've got. So, yeah, man. Ben, I say, I say, Benvindo. I don't even know how you pronounce that, but welcome, Vinicius. Welcome. Um, yeah, I just don't have the time to make an actual video, so I thought I might get... Uh, thought I might, you know, do a little live stream, see if I can get people's reactions. And this is very, very botched setup. <laughs> All right. Um High score, so we're going to go for three million for a year. Madness, yeah, man, it's crazy. Top goal scorer in the league, and let's be honest. Like, obviously, Jetson aside, being like Jetson's a centre mid, it's not really the best thing to to judge. But I do believe some Portuguese uh, Liga Nos players can actually transition fairly well into the Premier League. So it'll be interesting to see how well he does. Obviously, he's not going to get anywhere near as many minutes as he would have done. Um, but I think competitions like Carabao Cup. FA Cup, Europa League, he's definitely, definitely going to be playing. And I think he's going to be playing a lot more than people think. It's Mourinho's number one target of the window, supposedly. And it's been done, sealed, secured. Spurs finally have a second striker. Now we've only got one bit of business to do, and that is to get Skriniar over the line. If we get that done, that is 100% a 10 out of 10 best transfer window in Europe by a country mile okay did anyone see what spurs tweeted oh wait five dollars from teddy crane thank you very much now we need milan screen yes 100 percent. now this is done um we need him for sure tom davis is asking a good question here will he play versus the united the answer is no um the whole point is that we are waiting on a work permit so they were allowed to announce him before the work permit and um, this is all from Alistair Gold, by the way, who has come in absolute clutch during the transfer window. So massive shout out to him. Um, but he has confirmed that he's not available for Sunday because he still needs his work permit. So everything should be fully, fully, fully sealed and done on Monday. There shouldn't be any stumbling blocks on there. But that does mean that he will not be available for your Man United and he'll be back for after the international break. 
But um, yeah, man, I'm really happy how quickly we managed to get a lot of these done, which is crazy. Absolutely crazy, man. Agent Jan Vertonghen coming through in clutch. That's right. My guy scored that own goal on purpose to knock them out of the Champions League to make sure that we can sign him, which is very, very fantastic. So if I was saying very attacking team, Kane, Mora, Deli, Bale, Son, Vinicius. Yes, and let's not forget, you've got Lo Celso behind them and Dombele behind them. Cesar John's probably going to go on loan, so he won't be an option. Same with, uh, same with Jack Clark. But um, yeah, this is incredible, man. Is Son going to play versus United? Highly, highly unlikely. Um, he definitely will not start. Whether he makes the squad, I, I, I very much doubt it, to be honest with you. Um, I can see Bergvine and Lucas potentially playing again with Harry Kane. Um, I know they played the game on Thursday, but at the moment we don't really have much choice. Um, if we had a striker in earlier, they could have maybe played the Europa League game and rested Harry or one of the wingers for a bit, but unfortunately not. Um, and Bale was not going to be available for United either. He started training properly this week and both him and Son should be fully fit and back after the international break in a couple of weeks' time. Okay, so I want to get everyone's thoughts on our new son of Vinicius, what you make of him. Brazilian, top Brazilian scorer in Europe right now, which is crazy to think. I checked uh, the stats on the top Brazilian players. Um, I believe Neymar got 13 goals. I believe Richarlison got 13 goals. I think Firmino got nine last season. And I'm trying to think if there's any top. Vinicius Jr. didn't get anywhere near enough. Whereas Carlos Vinicius scored 18 goals in the league, 24 overall. He scored the same amount of goals as Harry Kane last season. Just put it that way. We've got the Brazilian, Brazilian Kane out here. So anyone saying he's bad is extremely salty and jealous. <laughs> Six foot four or six foot three Richarlison. And he's actually fairly quick for, for, for his size as well. So considering that he's a second goal, uh, second goalkeeper, considering he's a second goal scorer, um, he is different gravy. And the fact that we've only got him for three million this year is phenomenal bit of business. He's a poacher. He's the perfect kind of player that uh, Mourinho wants. Obviously, six foot three, six foot four geezer up top, proper target man who can also assist as well as scoring because he's also got 13 assists last season. He got the same amount of assists last year in all competition than Neymar scored in their league. So the guy has got elite stats for um, for a backup, backup striker or second striker, so to speak. So he is a very, very good player for the price we've got. And like I said, 40 million is absolutely nothing at the end of next year if he does turn out to be the baller that everyone thinks he's going to be. If not, we don't buy him. It's not an obligation to buy. It's an option to buy. All right. So, um, yeah, I think this is a very quality sign in um, considering maybe the lack of availabilities of top strikers in Europe right now. So Bale's number nine. He'll be wearing the number 45, which someone pointed out in the chat. It's all the way up, so I can't see it. Someone pointed out in the chat, four plus five equals nine. So that actually makes a lot of sense. <laughs> but he'll be wearing number 45 next season. We really need a better leader and then our team is perfect. I don't know about leader, but we just need Skriniar at centre-back. We secure screen at centre-back and we have one of the best squads in Europe right now. OK. Um, then you have an apparently he had a hundred million euro buyout clause, by the way. Hundred million euro buyout clause. They were asking for 60 and Levy's Don Levy, the guy himself, has managed to secure it for three this year and then 42 at the end of the loan, which is insane. And the thing is, we don't even have to buy him if he's not even good. That's the best part about it. <laughs> um, is he's quick for someone that is four, six foot four? Yes, <laughs> six foot three. All right, you're around about then. But yeah, let's. Like, I want to have a look, see if I can share the reaction as well. I want to see what um, because we 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 got to watch this. This is hilarious. Let's watch this together. Uh, let's share. Right, Twitter up. Yes, let's go. Right. I wonder if you're going to be able to hear this, but I love this pre pre announcement from Spurs. <laughs> Hopefully, you can hear that as well. They are mugging it. <laughs> 
finally signing a striker. Well, I hope it's not another Vincent Janssen, John. I really do. I really do. Only time will tell. You can't hear. Anyway, you get the gist of it, even without the even without the sound. I think that's quite funny. Uh, and then obviously they announced your boy. Where's the thing gone? Oh, can I get out of this? There we go. And obviously you announced your boy. Look at that. Carlos Vinicius. Oh, already coming through with a tech. 32 games, 8 assists, 18 goals. That's just in the league. He's got 26 overall, I think, or 25 overall, and 13 assists uh, across all competitions. So that is very, very exciting. Online from Benfica. Yan doing the business. There you go. Confirmed number 45 for Spurs. 4 plus 5 equals 9. Look at all these salty, salty Arsenal West Ham fans are some of the first to get on the post, which is a bit ridiculous. Oh, I haven't even seen these photos yet. He's reacting to them live. Jesus, he is tall. Completing his medical. He actually looks like a bit of a unit, you know. All smiles, all smiles. Things you love to see. What else we got? Oh, we got him in the kits. And then I assume they're going to be dropping. Oh, no, that, was, that would have been his interview that they released beforehand. Look at it, man. Look at this. Look at this. Always, always salty Arsenal and West Ham fans. Always replying. It's hilarious. They're always the first to the post as well. That is the very definition of obsessed. All right? Obsessed. <laughs> Kane and Vinicius could play in the same lineup. Um, I highly doubt that will happen or it won't happen very often, maybe depending on the opponent we're playing. Um, if we go five at the back, we might want to go for two strikers and three in midfield, so 5-3-2, like we did the other day where we had Bergvine and Lamella that didn't quite work. If we want to do that against a tough opponent, we could see... Um, Kane almost dropping as like a number 10, slightly, ever so slightly, because um, we all know he is a great assister now as well as goal scorer. So if he just drops in ever so slightly behind Carlos, they could play together up front, but I highly doubt we're going to see that because we're going to play a front three a lot with Son, Bale, Kane, Bergvine, Lucas. It's crazy to think that our first three are Son, Kane, Bale, and then our next is Bergvine, Vinicius, Lucas. That is pace, that is power, and that is skill in two teams, in a starter and a secondary. So it's madness. All right. I'm just gassed that we finally, finally got a striker. Um, yeah, I want everyone to leave their comments below. If you're watching this as a YouTube video, please let me know how excited you are to see him in a Spurs show because I am. And I think we just need to do one more deal to get this as a, a make this as an insane window. Well, it's already an insane window, but to make this an 11 out of 10 top class window, we just get Skriniar over the line. Okay. I think that would be different gravy. But I'm excited about this signing. I've been looking forward to a striker for a long, long time. And I'm glad we got this deal done so quickly, um, especially being one of Mourinho's top, top targets. All right. So if you're new here and you're watching this, make sure to like the video if you're watching this after the stream. And also make sure to subscribe if you're new, because I'll be back on Sunday with a live stream for the Man United game. And in fact, I've got a live stream Saturday evening with Rants and Bants as a preview to the Man United game. All right. So 8 p.m. roughly tomorrow night. Make sure to come back to the channel. I'll be going live then as well. Uh, difference between obligation to buy is basically you have to pay it at the end of the loan. Um, and an option to buy is you choose whether or not to, to, to pay it. Back. So the fact there's an option to buy is fantastic because if he turns out to be rubbish, we don't spend a penny on him, which is fantastic. So yeah, man, I'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. for the uh, for the preview with Ransom Bants. And then I'll see you again on Sunday for the full Man United thing. So thank you guys for coming in and tuning to the stream. Obviously breaking news, my thoughts and my excitement for the new signing. And I look forward to hopefully seeing Skrinja in a Spurs shirt by the end of, end of play on Monday. I think we've got fairly decent chances now Europe, Europa League is secured. And now that we've got Vinicius done and over the line for only three mil this year, that should free up a lot more funds, especially if Foyth goes, if Sessegnon's out on loan, Clark goes out on loan. Um, hopefully we can sell Foyth and it's not on loan. Um, and then maybe sell the likes of Rosen Kotovickers. That should free up a, a little bit more funds to be able to secure Skriniar, all right? So yeah, sorry if you guys only just came in, but I'm going to be heading out. Got to go to the gym now, and I shall see you guys very soon. Much love, peace, and goodbye.